bag contains coins of 1 rupees, 50 paise and 25 paise in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 4. If the total money in the bag is rupees 225, then how many 50 paise coins are there? So we have 1 rupee, 50 paise and 25 paise coin. So number of coins are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 4. Here we know total money in the bag is 225 and that's why I am multiplying a factor that is 1x, 2x, 4x. Number of coins are in 1x, 2x, 4x ratio. So here total money 225 is equal to 1x number of 1 rupee coins plus 2x number of 50 paise coins. So 2x number of 50 paise coins. This is 50 paise. This is rupee. This is also rupee. This is paise. So I will divide it with 2 because 1 rupee is equal to 1 rupee divided by 2 is equal to 50 paise. The same way this is 25 paise. 1 rupee divided by 4 is equal to 25 paise. So 4x by 4. Now this two terms in rupees. So, 225 is equal to 2, 2 cancel, 4, 4 cancel. That is x plus x plus x, 3x. So, x is equal to 225 divided by 3. That means 75. So, we have to find how many 50 paise coins are there. So, number of, number of, 50 paise coins is equal to how much? 2x. That means 2 into 75 is equal to 150 coins. 150 coins. 150 coins. So we have 1 rupee 50 paise and 25 paise coins. So, 1 rupee, so if x is equal to 75, that means 1 rupee coins, 75. 75 1 rupee coins and 150, 50 paise coins and 300, 25 paise coins. That is 1 is to 2 is to 4. So, if you want to know the amount of money, that is amount is equal to 1 rupee 75 paise coins means 75. 50 paise 150 coins means 150 divided by 2. Then 300 coins of 25 paise means 300 divided by 4. That is 225. So, if you have any doubt, check this as reference. So, our answer is 150 coins. So, option C is your answer.